Hey guys, Luke here and welcome to Season 2, Episode 2 of the Newcastle Thunder English Road to Glory. In today's episode, we'll be covering the preseason games. It is going to be no live commentary, it's just a post commentary because I didn't feel these games were that important, but it is nice to see how the team is going to start off the season. The first game we're going to be taking a look at on this episode is a game against the Knights and we are very familiar with this team as they were in the championship uh, championship one and we did beat them uh, obviously because we got promoted but um, yeah we, they are a pretty decent team and should be a good indication on where we are exactly heading into the proper season. There's a lot of debuts uh, for the team and you can see our lineup. There are a few different um, players in there, a few new faces so that is pretty nice to see. Uh, let's hope that they can uh, come up with a pretty good performance. Okay, the first clip is from four minutes in. They put in a kick, and Jason Tarley isn't at fullback, but he's just filling in because I think Mendika uh, had actually made a uh, tackle, but he did touch the ball. So after York had a repeat set, they end up giving away a penalty after just putting a grubber straight into the own player. Because of that penalty, it gave us a great field position and a great opportunity to attack here, and the ball finds Samuel G straight through the middle here. Didn't want to pass it initially, but we just went straight through the middle. We tried to go for a little bit of an inside ball, but Mexico was tackled. A few tackles later, it's the fifth tackle, Carbery gets it to Tom Kappa, he puts in a grubber, and it's going to be Mice, and one of our new signings, who grabs the ball, and powers his way over, and he scores his first try for us, in the first try of this game. So you can see here, it's a pretty tough kick, this one, the wind is going left to right, but thankfully the wind actually was doing so, otherwise we would have missed that goal, but means he kicks his first goal of the season. So 6-0 up, and move into the 16th minute here, fourth tackle, Carbery jumped out of dummy half there pretty nicely, get the ball to Tarly, gets the ball to Jacob Blades, who's now on the wing here, We're looking to link back up with Tarly, but the pass was just a little bit too loopy. Fifth tackle, 25 metres in, Jordan Meads grabs the ball here, and he puts in a kick, and it's actually a pretty nice kick here, I believe it's Mark Mexico chasing down the player here, and we do dive a little bit too early, but it still does make the tackle. We've been piling on the pressure here late in the first half, and there's a nice little pass there to Jordan Meads. Gets it out to Clark, and just have to draw him past at this point. Tyler gets it to Jake, Jacob Blaze, and what can Blaze do? He's going to take on the fullback here, and he's actually got enough pace, and he's going to go the distance and score here. That is great stuff there from Jacob Blades. And Jordan Meads steps up to kick the goal just from in front pretty much there, and he does, so it's 12-0. The next clip is actually in the second half here. You can see Dane Craig is in the hooker position at the moment. And Jordan Meads is going to cross over and score here. It's actually a beautiful start. They went up to the video ref, but you can see he clearly got the ball down. And Kiwi Thurston to convert his own try here. And he does so. It's a pretty easy kick for him, I'd say. But that's another kick for Jordan Meads. Three from three. Although it would appear to be a York highlight, it is not. Lee Fulas absolutely flattened this guy. And he hurts his back in the process. Okay, Carver gets the ball to James Mendica. And his palms off one. It goes around another. He has been really, really good at fullback, I've got to say. Okay, it's the first tackle, 25 metres out in the 65th minute, and we are looking to score more tries. We're not looking to take the foot off the pedal here, and it is Tom Kappa gets the ball there, and now it is Lee Maples. Lee Maples with a foot race here, and nobody's going to catch him. That is a brilliant try. I was so happy when I scored this try. It just looks so nice. And another kick for Jordan Meads. It's a pretty easy one, and I'm glad it's an easy one, because my goal kicking is not in form at the moment. Okay, the game's nearly over, 76 minutes in, Mexico looking to spread the ball, Bolsa gets it to Barron, gets it to Kappa, Kappa just has to draw and pass, he gets it to Maples, didn't quite time it, but Maples does enough to get around him, if only Craig didn't follow him right behind him. Anyways, as you can see, the game finished with a 24-0 win over the York City Knights, a very, very good win, our completions, 14 from 16, that was very, very pleasing, it was just absolute domination, the tries were scored by Jordan Meads, Jacob Blades, Mice and Maples, so very, very happy with those tries, four tries, and they were all pretty good tries at that. Okay, so our second game of the episode is taking on the Featherstone Rovers. So another side we're familiar with, another side that we took on last season. And they actually are a pretty decent side, if I'm honest here. They do have a few uh, few decent names. I know, I know Renny Matua is actually in the side there. For a second, I thought that was Scott Moore, but it's actually not. But yeah, Renny Matua is their star player. We should be winning this one pretty comfortably and uh, just hoping to get on a bit of a roll leading into the start of the actual season. Okay, the first clip is actually for the Rovers, seven minutes in, fourth tackle, they actually just go straight through us here, and Carberry came across to make the tackle, and both our new signings have missed tackles there, and Sharp will actually race away and score the first try of the game, so that is quite disappointing, that is very, very poor defence. And their goal kicker Moore to step up and kick the goal, which he does so, just straight over the black dot, the computer does not miss. Finally, a highlight for ourselves here is 12 minutes in. I'm just going to split them straight from the 20 meter restart there. Mendika cuts around there and actually did quite a good job there. He's actually got a lot of pace there and he is going to win a penalty, giving us great field position. And with that field position, we are looking to strike here. Carberry jumps out of dummy half and he actually palms off one and he will score. That is a brilliant try from our new signing, Carberry. Now, to convert the tries, Jordan Meads, it's a pretty easy kick, I've got to say. And he slots it straight over. It's one from one. It is six all. Okay, 26 minutes in, roughly on the halfway line here. Kappa gets the ball there, and he has a little bit of space. He throw a little bit of a shitty dummy. Not that we actually needed to, but some more meters made. 
Okay, so 30 minutes in, York have the ball here. It is the second tackle, and they are looking to strike. It's really mature, but Mabel's comes across and makes it a great tackle. A great tackle. Okay, third tackle for us here. Curry jumps out of dummy half. He's had a brilliant game so far. But Kappa gets the ball to Maples. And the Maples and Kappa connection is working very, very well here. Maples trying to take on the fullback. Cuts around. He is brought down. But Maples having a great game. Okay, jumping all the way into the second half here, you can see Craig is actually on for Carberry. Carberry doesn't have great fitness, but we're looking to strike down the right-hand edge here. Tali gets the ball to Jacob Blades. Can Jacob Blades score? Yes, he can. Just step straight around the fullback there. Jacob Blades, a bit of a revelation on the wing so far. Bit of a tough kick here for Jordan Meads. I should be kicking this one, but we don't. Jordan Meads misses the goal. That's quite disappointing. Okay, so we've got a four-point lead here. We're looking to extend that lead because four points still feels a bit precarious at the moment. It could go either way. But we do get an offload here to Jason Tarley. That's a brilliant little offload from Jacob Blaze. And Tarley looking to use his speed and strength. Gets the ball away and just offloads. Offloads are flowing at the moment. We're attacking very, very well. And that's not where the play ends. Luckily, gets the ball to Barron. Gets the ball to Fulas. And we're looking to attack this left-hand edge. Go um, coast to coast here. Kappa gets it to Lee Maples. What can Maples do? He's going to score. That's what he's going to do. He takes it straight around the fullback there. And that is a brilliant try. Lee Mables, take a bow. So Jordan Meads missed the last goal. Will he miss this one? Yes, he will. And I can't believe I actually missed that goal. Okay, so we've got an eight-point lead against the Rovers. It's not a huge lead, but it is a big enough lead. You can see Tali gets the ball here. Gets the ball to Jacob Blaze. Nice and early in Blaze. Takes it around one player like he did to score the try. But he was eventually brought down. Okay, fourth tackle. Craig has the ball. He gets the ball to Jacob Blaze. There's another pass there to Mandika. And he's got the pace. Can he score? No, he cannot. We do have another chance to strike, though. Six or seven minutes in. Jordan Meads puts in a brilliant little grubber there. And he's going to be the Baron in the middle there. The guy who follows me on Twitter. Thank you for following me. And to convert the extras, Jordan Meads should be kicking this goal. I think I could kick this goal. Jordan Meads kicked the goal. And we do have a bit of an extended lead now. Okay, 71 minutes in. It's Mark Mexico looking to do a little bit of ball playing. An inside pass there. And Mendica, he's got the pace. Can he score? No, he cannot. He's brought down by the fullback. But he's having a brilliant game. And guys, that is how it finished. A 26 victory over the Featherstone Raiders. You can see there, Jacob Blades got men of the match according to the game there. But it was just an all-round great performance from the guys. A little bit of a disappointing start in terms of Mendika um, missing a tackle. But what can you do? We did hit back pretty quickly. And the ability to respond quickly and respond well is what makes great teams. Now, after those two preseason games, Coach Luke actually did a little bit of an interview. Sort of given his thoughts on the preseason as a whole on those two games. So let's see what he's got to say. How do you feel the boys played in the preseason? Yeah, the preseason's actually been very, very good for us. I mean, in terms of training, we trained the house down in the preseason, but most importantly is we've hit the ground running uh, in the preseason games, which is which is very, very nice. We've gone for pretty much our full strength side. So, I mean, the side you're seeing here is probably the side, a very, very similar side to what you're going to be seeing uh, in, in the main games. But, you know, I think, I think we've played uh, outstanding so far. I mean, just to conceding that one try, and it was a pretty shitty try to concede anyways, uh, you know, I can't be happier, to be honest with you. Uh, we've got a lot of new signings coming in. Uh, I mean, Mandoke, Mandika, James Mandika has been fantastic for us um, at, at fullback there. And also, uh, Mice, I, I still don't know his pronunciation. I should just find out from him. But I'm going to call him Mice for now. Mace, something like that. Uh, the second rower, he's actually performed uh, quite well for us. He scored a try. Um, yeah, it's just really, really nice. It's not been like a one-man team. I mean, last season, we kind of relied on Tali a little bit. I'm feeling this season, it's going to be a, a lot more... Or an all-round team. I mean, we've got a new Haas player as well, um, which is very, very nice. Last last season, we played uh, fullback at 5-8 for most of the season, so uh, that was really, really nice. And Carberry um, has come in into the hooker role, and he's got to work on his fitness a little bit, but I think for the most part, I think he should be right for the should be right for the season. Uh, and we also get Craig on the bench anyways, who comes on and plays a bit of hooker for us, can play lock, depending on how, uh, how Carberry's feeling at the time. But... Uh, yeah, to answer your question, the preseason, I think it's been outstanding so far. And, you know, I'm really looking forward to uh, to this championship season. Hopefully we can get another promotion, guys.